Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, so uh, here at Hamvention, one of our big things, new things this year is we've got the handbook. We had a, a printed copy from my home printer at uh, Hamcation, but we've actually got it available on Amazon now, so you can buy a, a regular or large print versions. Uh, but what started this is uh, so many people come and use Hamstudy, and you know everybody. You know, it's a very common thing that hey, we can just use Hamstudy. That's all you need, and it works. But when you just drop straight into the question pool, and you don't have any context, no background, you don't have the licensing works or anything, you're just totally lost. Because even with all of the explanations there, even as much as you can learn by reading a question, reading an explanation, without something that ties it all together, uh, it's just not quite there. And so. Uh, as I've been, I've been working for a while on getting to the point that we can add some more instructional content into Hamstudy, and there's actually some authors that I've been talking to that we want to integrate their books in. I was thinking, you know, in order to prove out a platform, you really need two data points. So let's see if I can uh, use AI tools to just come up with something that's better than just reading questions. That was the entire goal initially, is to just come up with, you know, better than reading the questions. And it turned out the, that that first draft just blew me away at how effective it was. Um, I mean, there were definitely some interesting moments in there. It, it's, uh, I like to tell people that writing with AI, it's like working with a talented but somewhat dim intern because <laughs> the writing style is usually pretty good, but every so often they'll completely forgot what they wrote yesterday or they will uh, come up with something that's just completely bizarre and you're like, where did you get that? Um, but with sufficient direction, it, uh, it's actually a very powerful tool. And after a little bit of revision, it quickly became clear that this was good enough. I needed to actually finish it and do it right. And I, it surprises me almost more than anybody else that I really think that the handbook stands up as a technician manual against anything else on the market right now. It tries to hit a sweet spot between the classic case of Let's just list all of the questions. I'll give you a little bit of intro and then list all the questions and we'll talk about all of them, which is only just slightly better than what Hamstudy gives you natively. And what is kind of the, the ARL books uh, strategy, which is let's teach you a postdoctorate class on everything <laughs> that anybody ever knew about the technician license. And, and please understand, nothing against the ARL books. They're fantastic, but they are so much information it's almost more like you need that for after you've gotten your license in order to better understand things so you have an in-depth reference manual. And so... A bit overwhelming for the beginner. A, a bit overwhelming for the, the beginner. So, I mean, we've tried to keep it fun. There's some uh, various places where we've got... We have it at the end of each section, there's this question review, and I've got like little, little people in, on desks, and there's, there's 19 of those that randomly go throughout the uh, thing. And if, if you look down here, here at Hamvention, we have stickers for seven of those figures, which happen to be the seven that are here at the booth. So, this one's me. <laughs> There's my partner, Ben. There's my son, Caleb. My father-in-law's around here. So yeah, there's my, my father-in-law here. Anyway, wow. Of course, I can only, you know, get apart the other ones. So, but, uh, but yeah, so we've tried to, to keep it fun, have some, some uh, good illustrations about stuff on connectors. One of the cool things is at the end of each chapter and at the end of each section, we've got this QR code. And if you just scan the QR code, and of course, it only asks me for the password when, <laughs> and it just pops it right up in ham study. And now we're studying the section that we were just in. Cool, so it's just, integrated tightly yeah. in with ham study so that it'll take it sure you right is. to the site. And in kind of the spirit of how we work with ham study stuff, it's also available on the web for free. So hambook.org, you can find it's the exact same book, the entire book, uh, in web format. Uh, it's not, I mean, you can print like a page or two at a time. It's not in a print the entire thing out format there. If you want to do that, we do sell a PDF. And an EPUB, an EPUB, an ebook, EPUB. We'll just mix those words. It'll be great. <laughs> Everyone will love it. Um, and uh, you can buy those for ten dollars. We also sell these on Amazon. Uh, this one is twenty dollars on Amazon, and the large print is thirty dollars on Amazon. I wanted to make those less, but since at twenty dollars, I make about four dollars and fifty cents per book. Uh, if I were to drop it to $15, that wouldn't work very well. Right. Uh, but we have them for $15 and $20 here. 
And if anybody is wanting to use this for a class, which actually I think would work really well since you can have your students have the option of just using the free online version, or if you have people who want to read it in person, or you know, on, on paper, which a lot of people prefer, you know, they have the option of buying them, but I could do bulk discounts by just getting the author copy and drop shipping it to people, which is, I, as long as it's worth my time, enough of them to be worth my time to put it in, it costs me about the same, and I'm happy to, you know, help in, in whatever ways I reasonably can. Um, it's just Amazon takes such a huge cut on those, you yeah. know? Yeah, so, I get it. But super excited about this. I am working on a general and an extra version. We'll see how that works. <laughs> uh, again, I mean, I was so surprised at how well this worked. I have the layout and everything figured out for the general book, and I, I'm really happy and excited about that. But, uh, but I'm not really a writer. I'm not really a, I mean, I have the ability to write, but this is just very outside of what I normally do. And so with the general is kind of above my, my full expertise, you might say. I mean, I can talk about the technician stuff all day. Getting to the general and then especially extra, I'm going to need to start getting a little bit more help to make sure that I'm not teaching false <laughs> information, etc. But well, it looks super like excited a really, about it. looks like a really cool product they just came out with. Thanks for taking a few minutes and telling us about it. Always good to see you, Jason. All right. Take care.